So I've been back to tongue blocking. I keep alternating. I have I'm getting more and more material to work on, and I keep alternating it to keep it interesting. Otherwise, just repeating the same stuff gets very boring very fast. So um, it's now I have about um, 20, 20 things that I'm working on going at the same time, and I'll just uh, start practicing and go with what interests me, and and that translates into all areas that I go back and practice. So, um, for instance, now I'm practicing uh, John Lee Williamson's blues. It's a medium slow blues, and I'm doing it exclusively tongue blocking, um, doing no lip pursing. It's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be up to speed, but I've been practicing it for about a day, so uh, just recording my progress. So what I found is um, I'm also working on uh, Little Walter's Blues with a Feeling, just the first part. It's very difficult. I didn't realize <laughs> it just occurred to me practicing this yesterday and today how how crazy difficult Little Walter's stuff really is. Um, so I'm 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 learning that um, tongue blocking too. So. Throwing those warbles in is very hard. Um, I'll get it eventually. <laughs> Give it six months to a year and it should be good. Um, so, what was I going to say? So I'm working on tongue blocking. And also, um, I've been working on St. Louis Blues. I'm doing that lip pursed. Um, it's basically for me, uh, lip purse when I'm doing overblows, I... I I don't know if I'll ever devote time to learning overblows tongue blocking. If it, if it comes, it comes. And also, um, I'm working on. Oh yeah, one thing I noticed about with tongue blocking is that, for instance, when you're playing chords, lip pursed or just normal, you you release like the Adam Gusso videos where you release the top lip to let the air out. So it's letting that extra air out. Well, with tongue blocking, um, I've been working on, just for fun, <laughs> playing a single note and letting air out. So... Also, you can just keep the tongue there and take in extra air and let extra air out on any any note, even a bent note. You can take an extra air, it's I mean the tongue blocking technique is is just is amazing to me. I don't think I'll I'll ever be in that school where they'll say only tongue blocking, but I can definitely see its advantages. But also uh lip pursing. I think nowadays it's essential probably to have both, so uh, I got time to learn both. Alright, bye.